project, I'll be showing you how to make these infinity mirror coasters that I think look pretty awesome. They're fully 3D printed, USB rechargeable, and open source so you guys can make any changes that you want. Before I get into the details on the programming, electronics, PCB design, and the coaster design, I just want to give some quick background on why the heck I decided to make these. Basically I found this old school infinity mirror from the 1980s at Salvation Army for like 5 bucks. Unfortunately it wouldn't turn on so I took it apart and found that a few of the bulbs were burnt out. So I threw some of those cheap remote control LEDs in there and the end result looks really really cool. So I started looking around my apartment for anything I could make an infinity mirror out of and found that our coasters, well they were pretty trash so I tossed them and I got to start working on the electronics. So here's the final schematic, uh, it's really not too bad. Over here we have a micro USB port which we'll be using to recharge our battery uh, using this MCP73831 lithium ion charge management controller. Uh, there's a charging LED, a few capacitors, and a 2K programming resistor which gets us a 500 milliamp charge current to our battery. Uh, and then over here we have our ATtiny85, we have our on off switch, we have a couple of these capacitors here. I just chose a bunch um, in parallel here just because the thousand microfarad capacitors that they recommend for the NeoPixels was really screwing with my design because they were pretty tall. I couldn't find any that were pretty short. Uh, so then there was also a 10K that's a pull down uh, for our push button. That's what we're going to be using to change modes. I also designed up a simple PCB using KiCad. Uh, so you can see here we have our switch to the right. Uh, we have our JST connector, our AT1085, all of our capacitors, uh, a couple different surface mount components there, and then our USB charger. So if you do end up making this project, uh, you can go to any like your favorite board manufacturer, uh, and I'll link in all the Gerber files and everything in the Instructables. So basically you just load it all in there, and then add to your cart, and then check out. It's simple as that, it's super cheap. I use JLC PCB, but I'm sure there's other ones that are just as good. So after I ordered uh, the PCB, then I went ahead and ordered all my electronic components of DigiKey, and then I was able to start working on the design. So basically this is the bottom part here. We have our spot for our PCB here with our button, our USB port, and then we have a little uh, lithium ion charge thing. And then there's basically this thing that goes over the top, and it'll make more sense when I actually put everything together later on in the video. But there's this little ring in here that you put the LEDs on and then to route the wires back, that's what that slot is for. So while I was printing all those components, uh, I went ahead and grabbed a 4 inch piece of plexiglass and some one way tinted like window film and I cut out a circle around the plexiglass. Eventually all of my components came, so first the PCBs came from JLC PCB. Honestly they looked really really good. They actually gave me like this little pin as well. Uh, and then obviously I've already opened this box before but this is kind of an example of how many components I had to order for this PCB just because I didn't have any uh, surface mount stuff in, in stock or anything like that. And I'm planning on making quite a few of these. So you got JST connectors, a ton of surface mount capacitors, we got some, a couple different push buttons because I wasn't sure what size I needed, um, some on off switches, some AT Tiny 85s, and a ton of other stuff. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. So there's a ton of tutorials online for how to surface mount solder. I'm definitely not the best at it, but eventually I got everything working. And I plugged in my lithium ion battery. I turned it on and it worked great. Now that I knew that the PCB worked, I grabbed all my 3D printed components, my mirrors, my LEDs, my battery, and everything else, and I started putting it all together. So the first thing that I did is that I soldered on the LEDs onto my PCB. And you can see this PCB is pretty tiny. Uh, you can see you got the on off switch, the JST connector, and the push button. And basically the LEDs I'll go on this like 3D printed ring and I'll get to why that is in a second. But what you're, the, the first thing that you gotta do is you take your lid, 3D printed lid, and you insert that mirror that we put like the film on. And then you put your LEDs inside of there. There's kind of like an opening there for your for the wires. Then you put the the the, the normal four inch mirror on top of that. So that works pretty good. I just put some uh, electrical tape in there just to try to keep it in place. It didn't really work that great, but you know I tried. So from there, you take your PCB. It should be able to just insert right into there, uh, and you should be able to access the push button and the on off switch and all that stuff. Then you take your lithium ion battery cell, insert that into the slot there. 
here you can go ahead and turn on power and the lights could, light should come on, the push button should work, everything should be all good. So now that you know everything works, go ahead and snap everything together. There are holes in the bottom for screws, but honestly, if it's if your printer has pretty good settings, it press fits really really well. Uh, and then you can turn it on and enjoy your new Infinity Mirror coaster. These LEDs do take up a decent amount of power, uh, depending on what mode you're running. And if you need to recharge your battery, just go ahead and use your micro USB in the back. And then on the PCB, just look for that green light to verify that you have it wired correctly. As usual, all the links to all the STL's code and Gerber files can be found in the Instructable that I'll put in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe and let me know your thoughts on the project in the comments below. Also, I'd like to just say thanks to my current subscribers, as although it definitely doesn't sound like a lot, I'm super excited that the channel hit over 100 subscribers after the last video. I'll for sure still be coming out with new projects every couple of weeks that I hope you guys will all enjoy. Let me know if you guys decide to make any of my projects, and of course I always reach out if you need any help.